Hola, hola guys, and welcome to the uh, cheesecake stuffed apple. Now, in reality, you can stuff this apple with anything, and of course, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, to start, you're going to need a nice sharp knife. You're going to need, um, it could be a melon um, baller, or it can be, um, this is what I use for my cake pops to measure them out. Um, anything to basically core out the apple. We're going to need some sticks to stick in the apple, some toothpicks, two or three. Um, if you feel like you need more, you can use more. Um, I have this mold that I'm going to apply to the apple, some sandy sugar, um, obviously an apple. You can wash this with uh, baking soda and or um, lemon. I also have some chocolate in the uh, microwave and I also add a tablespoon to 10 to 12 ounce uh, candy melts of Wilton. That's what I use. That's what works for me. But you can do uh, whatever works for you. Remember, be creative. I love seeing you guys' creativity when it comes to all the different stuff you can make. I also have some frozen cheesecake that I've left on the counter for it to thaw out. And uh, we'll be stuffing the apple with that. And uh, all right, let's get started. All right, so we have our apple, nice shiny apple. Like I said, you can wash it with some baking soda, water, and lime juice and scrub it. Uh, however you wash your apples. I necessarily, if you do the candy apple um, method, I wouldn't necessarily use that method because um, that's a different method. That's to get no bubbles in your candy apples. And we're not necessarily doing candy apples. We're doing candy melts. So, but it's completely up to you. So what we want to do is literally do about half an inch to an inch again completely up to you I'm gonna do half an inch and I'm gonna go down nice clean slice down the apple and make sure you line it up to where you cut it you want it to be perfect make sure see that's where I cut it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get the two toothpicks and I'm going to literally stick them in. So I remember where um, I put the holes in the apple. So you can lift up the apple like that, but you'll still have the holes in there so you remember to line it up because if you don't line it up, you're going to have a line in the apple and it's going to look really weird. All right, and I'll show you what I mean. So you just want to core it out. And once you're doing this, okay, once you're doing this and it starts to get wet, just get a napkin and start rubbing off all the excess moisture from the apple because water or any kind of juices in chocolate don't mix. Make sure you get everything out as much as you can and then just make sure it goes back on place see wrong way make sure you do the indentation with the toothpick first because you want it nice and straight like that you don't want it crooked like that okay just keep that in mind and remember I'll have all the information below um, the mold I will be using is from Calico. The chocolate ratio will be in the description box, just in case, if, if you need it. All right, so I'm going to get some of this cheesecake. So it was a frozen cheesecake. And all you have to do, and if you don't want this to brown, I would suggest putting a little bit of lime, or not lime, lemon juice um, on the surface and on the inside and on the top of the apple it keeps it from browning um, that much I mean it will brown it's fresh fruit I don't know some people seem to think that fresh fruit is like magical no it's fresh fruit <laughs> there's an expiration so what I'm doing right now is cutting the cheesecake because I'm going to stuff it in here now how you want to put the cheesecake in the apple it's going to be completely up to you I think this is a, a really messy, fun way to do it. You don't have to use the knife, obviously. So you can 
use a spatula and literally just take off the excess cheesecake however you want to do it's nice firm in there I still see the indentations of the toothpick so I don't gotta worry clean off the excess did it take that much um, cheesecake and you can use the rest on the rest of the apples if you're going to do more stuffed apples. Um, remember, you don't have to just do cheesecake. I mean, this is the craze right now, cheesecake and the apple. Alright, so now what you want to do is line up your holes. One's there, one's there. Make sure, see, that's not lined up. Turn it around. That seems to be lined up. I'm going to put that back in there, like so. Perfect. Yep, that's lining up. And it might move a little. Just be weary. Nice clean cut. And uh, we're going to let this set in the fridge for about five minutes. All right. Now, the reason I put it in there for five minutes is I wanted the cheesecake to set up in the apple. You don't have to do that process, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to dip the um, apple stick in the chocolate. I'm going to be using pink chocolate because I ran out of red. Now, I'm going to go down in the apple as if it were, you know, a candy apple. And you're going to go down to hit the bottom of the apple not piercing it but you're you know you touch the bottom of the apple now if you feel that you need the, these lines are not going to uh, if you feel like you need to fill these in with chocolate by all means do so you can fill it up with chocolate like this you don't have to do this you can also scrape off the excess chocolate once it's cold this is just an option for you if you want to. Completely up to you. You can use your fingers. Make sure if these are for clients, wash your hands, use gloves, be food safety. Like that. And just scoot it in there. Make sure it gets in there. I got a nice clean line and this only happened because I did overfill it with the cheesecake make sure you don't overfill it and you won't have a gap like that but if you do don't worry you can save yourself and we're gonna pop this in the freezer for five minutes or the refrigerator for ten all right, our apple is nice and firm. It was in the freezer for five minutes or so. Nice and firm. Um, you want that puddle right there for the nice and firm apple. Um, that allows you to have the stick in the apple. What you want to start doing is taking out the toothpick very slowly. Now, if you feel that it's not sturdy enough or the apple might fall off the stick or whatever, you can dip it with the toothpicks in and take the toothpicks out after. Now what you want to do next is dip the apple. Now I suggest you get a uh, bigger cup for the chocolate and the apple. But you make do with what you have. And just tap it off. Now you want to really work it because you don't want to lose the momentum of uh, the nice, the nice um, sturdiness you have with the stick. Okay, so tap it. Now what I'm going to do, since I didn't have my red candy melts, I'm going. I mean, yeah, my red candy melts. I'm still going to put red on it. I would usually do uh, red candy melts with uh, red sprinkles, but I couldn't find them for some reason, but it's okay. No biggie. If your chocolate is dripping, don't worry, the candy melts will adhere to it. That 
that's okay. I always, I always show you the mistakes so you don't make them at home. The candy melts will um, adhere to the sugar, so it's totally okay. And then it'll dry up, and you can just take them out, take the clumps out. So what I did is uh, just let this set. If you feel like the chocolate is melting too much, just add more sugar. Let me see. More sugar. Or you don't have to add the sending sugar at all. I feel like my chocolate was a little too hot. And that may happen. No biggie. Learning process. I love experimenting. Looking gorgeous. I did see that there's a bubble. That's okay. So we're just gonna let that one sit in the freezer for five minutes. So this is what I mean by it clumping up. The chocolate will adhere to the sugar if it does happen that way, or you can do it over parchment paper. So there's the clumps of chocolate. Just grab them and throw them away. No biggie. Usually that never happens, but I think that chocolate was a little too hot. I make mistakes, so you guys don't. <laughs> Alright, and just throw them away. And then we're going to adhere this frame, this frame mold, to the candy apple. I'm going to play with it a little after I'm done with the class and see what I make it into, but I'm going to show you how to attach that onto the apple as soon as it's done in the freezer. So the apple is nice and firm. Like I said, this uh, mold is from Calico Cakes AZ. I wanted a oval mold because I didn't want to buy a round and an oval. So all I did was I molded the oval and I stretched it out a bit and made it round. And then I painted it. And I will have in the description box where I bought this and where I got the gold. And I just painted it um, gold with Rothcom gold. Now this could be the top, this could be the top, completely up to you. All I'm doing is putting some chocolate in the back and I'm gonna adhere that to the apple on the top and the bottom. Now your apple should be nice and cold so it should be able to adhere nice to the apple like that. And you let it set, set it and forget it. I'm going to put this in the freezer, see? So it could uh, adhere to the apple a bit, a bit better. Alright, give me a few. So the apple is setting in the, the freezer. I've made another one in advance, just so you could see the inside of the apple. Now, you do not have to leave the stick in there. You can shimmy the stick out little by little um, after you're done dipping it in chocolate. But this is what it will look like. Pretty awesome. You see the cheesecake? And it's piercing the bottom right here, but not too much. Zoom in. So it's piercing, you see the stick, it's piercing the bottom right there. But it's not, you know, hitting the, the bottom where you can see it. As you can see, I coated it as well. Small coat of chocolate. You can see the line right there. But it came out pretty perfect, if you ask me. And uh, you can do these just like any other apples. Um, I... Did try dipping it in candy, the candy mixture. You can do that, but it's a it's a little more tedious um, as the candy mixture is a little bit hotter, and it will, and you have to wait for the stick, for the candy mixture on the stick to uh, harden up, and you have to use two different batches. But that's completely up to you. So that's what it looks like on the inside. You can put s'mores, whatever you want with the apple. Um, I particularly didn't like the taste of the cheesecake with the apple but again you could put anything in there you could put peanut butter that sounds good you could put anything in the apple now let's check on our other apple all right here's that beauty see as you see the chocolate was a little too hot and it was still going down um try and not do it right after right after the chocolate gets out of the microwave um 
not necessarily room temp and not necessarily hot. <laughs> I did do it right out of the microwave. I think I'm going to make another one and make it a snow white apple. But as you see, it doesn't even look like a stuffed apple. It looks like a regular chocolate apple. So use your imagination. It's going to be fun to see these ones. And then you cut down the middle and you'll see the, uh, the stuff inside of it. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and or night whenever you're watching this. And uh, if you have any questions, you can send me a message on Instagram, email, sometimes Facebook. Facebook has been weird. So send me a message on Instagram. That's the fastest way to get a hold of me. And remember, there'll be some stuff in the description box below. Click on this little black arrow, okay? All right, you guys. Till next class.